are a few observations that possibly maybe we need to all uh, interrogate further and uh, ask ourselves. Uh, in your presentations, uh, the SSE, uh, the model on it has mainly been on the cooperatives. And we see mainly here in Africa, most countries, apart from the co-ops, there are also movements around uh, the self-help groups, which are smaller units at the, the grassroots levels. And then uh, at the bigger level, amalgamation of uh, several uh, self-help groups. And then uh, we also have uh, what we call savings uh, and cooperatives, the, the circles. Some are part of cooperatives and some are not really inside the cooperatives. And uh, the challenge I see here is that uh, all of them fall under different legislations. So each is being managed independently. And uh, then they give different, uh, it, it's not easy to really look at possibly where the economics and, and the social uh, issues fall in. So health and pensions are some of the two areas that have most, mostly been mentioned but neither has been captured uh, fully in either of these uh, formations, whether they are smaller self-help groups, the CBOs, the community-based organization, and the circles. Uh, is it a bit clear on the way the cooperatives are being managed, but these other three are really not uh, coming out very strongly on how they need to be managed. The other observation that maybe you would help us really understand is most of them are seen as social enterprises that are supposed to be managed, taxed, and uh, regulated by government. But, but the aspect of the workers in it does not come out very strongly. So most, of, most times when uh, individuals come together to work, they are not seen as workers, but they begin being seen as an enterprise, and therefore the need for uh, regulation in terms of wanting to for, for taxation purposes and income for government. Uh, the other part that maybe uh, would be a reputation in other countries, but we see it mostly used here in Africa, is most time government and the political class will use uh, these social enterprises for political purposes more than for economic opportunities. So that when uh, presidents, whether they are governors, whether they are members of national assemblies, they'll always want to associate and uh, try and influence the, the units that have come together to serve their, end, their, me, the, the, to serve their needs in terms of voting and uh, swaying the, the units to be able to give them votes instead of supporting them to realize uh, economic opportunities. Uh, this is where, again, government opportunities in terms of uh, work that are being offered is really used as a, as a dangling uh, carrot. But as soon as the government gets in place, it's all forgotten as soon as uh, they, they settle in. So maybe we need to also interrogate what can we do to be able to see to it that it serves the actual purpose for the coming together instead of being used and dumped uh, on, on a continuous basis. And then uh, lastly, would be maybe, how do we, how do we see it in the, the strength and especially you mentioned about trainings and capacity buildings for the co-ops in terms of management, then how this would be extended also to reach the self-help groups, the community-based organizations, the circles, and any other entity that come together to try and work on a social and solidarity economy perspective, then what other opportunities do we have in building their capacities? And uh, in that breadth, I'm looking at uh, the upcoming uh, units of home-based workers, their networks that are they're growing, and uh, both at the national levels and also at the region, they, the, the model is all around the social solidarity economy, uh, trying to work jointly, but then how do then all, all these come in to try and uh, bring about the concept at an early stage so that it's, the, whole, the whole unit keeps on tied together and it doesn't uh, fall away. And uh, 
it, it remains to be able to benefit the, the actual worker, the home-based workers at the grassroots level. So based on that, thank you so much. Those are my uh, comments and observations from the presentations that you made. Thanks a lot.